guys. So for today's video, I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing another products I regret buying video. Now I did one of these, I think like a couple months ago, maybe like three or four months ago, and it got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of you really liked that video and just felt that it was super helpful because a lot of the times I talk about products that I love and um, it's kind of rare to talk about products that you don't love, you know what I mean? And it, I feel like it's good just so that you guys, like a lot of you guys value my opinion and you feel like if I don't like it, you'll know that some of you won't like it because we have the same taste. Now, I actually have been doing my monthly favorites and regrets. So at the end of each um, monthly favorites video, I've been including regrets in there, which I feel like also really helps. Keep in mind, if you do like this video, at the end of all of my uh, favorites videos, I do regrets. So you can always check my favorites and regrets videos for the month out. But I also wanted to mention that just because I some of these products didn't work out for me doesn't mean that I absolutely despise the brand. Like, for example, I have a, two L'Oreal products in here, and L'Oreal is pretty much my favorite drugstore brand. I have love for every brand out there. I feel like every brand has good and bad. Let's just keep this video super real and super chill and remember that Everyone has their own opinions and just because it didn't work out for me doesn't mean it won't work out for you. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, I don't have a huge amount of products, like not as much as I did last time, but I do have a couple and I felt like you guys would want to see this video regardless if I had like a huge amount or just a little bit. So the first product I want to talk about is a product that I showed in my uh, favorites and regrets video last month in the thumbnail and I completely forgot to talk about it so I had to mention it in this video. This is the Sephora Bright Set Concealer. Now, I was actually at Sephora yesterday, and I wanted to return this or exchange it. But I was like, you know what, let me keep it, because I have to show it in this video and have to talk about it. This is the Sephora Bright Set Concealer uh, Powder Story. I was so excited when this came out. Like, so excited. I love setting the under eye with a bright powder, um, bright yellow powder. So when Sephora came out with their own, I was like, hell yeah, like I want to try that out. I even had signed up for like that little email notification when the product is in stock. So I purchased it and I just don't like it. It did not work out for me. I feel like if you are deeper skin tone than I am, which just for reference, I'm around like an NC37 in MAC. So I feel like if you're like a 45-ish, 50, you'll love this. Just because I feel like it's a darker yellow. Um, it looks really nice when you put it on your finger. And it looks like, oh yeah, like that's not dark at all. That'll be perfect. Um, like it doesn't appear dark. But once you actually put it on the skin, even there it doesn't look dark. Like even there it looks nice. But for some reason when you put it on the under eye, I feel like it oxidizes in a way. Like when I first apply it, I'm like, okay, look, like, not bad, pretty good. But in a couple minutes, it just oxidizes to a darker yellow. So by the end of my makeup look, I literally have a triangle underneath my eye that's a dark yellow. So it just does not work out for me. It's really sad. And the packaging too, like, doesn't close. Like, I don't know, you guys can't see that because obviously the packaging is black. But you see how it's open there? And I'm trying to close it. It doesn't close. So packaging, a little wonky too. Let me talk about this uh, concealer that goes along with this. Some of you might be surprised to see this um, in my products I regret buying video just because in my last month's favorites, I mentioned that it is a favorite and a regret. So I've decided that it's just like in a regret overall because I have so many concealers in my collection to keep one that's this pricey, that's a, a love and hate. You know what I mean? Like, I have so many concealers that I love from the drugstore and high-end. Why am I going to hang on to one that I have a hate and a love for? Let me just get rid of it. So, again, I went to Sephora yesterday and I almost returned this too, but I decided to keep these products so I could show you guys. I love the color, like, the shade selection in, the, in these. I love the, um, like, the look of the packaging is really nice. I love the formula is amazing. It's really, like, lightweight, but medium to full coverage. Um... I, I really like the formula. That I love it. That's like my love part of it. I hate the applicator, guys. Like, it's to the point where I just decided what's the point. Like, I love it, but when I'm doing my makeup, I look at it and I like, I go, mm, eh, I won't use it today because I don't have the patience for that. You know what I mean? So what's the point of me just keeping it if I'm not really, like, using it? Just because the applicator sucks so bad. Now, some people have mentioned to me that the applicator is purposely like that because it's supposed to be used in a dotting form, uh, dotting way. Let me just explain the applicator. 
The applicator is a round doe foot and it doesn't have any flat edge. So you can't apply this like this because you barely will get any product disposal. Like product doesn't dispose very well with this wand. The only way you can get it is if you put it flat like this and dispose it like this, which is really unrealistic and it's not the way that most of us apply our concealer. Now some of you guys have mentioned that that's the way that it's supposed to be, that it's supposed to be applied in a dotting formation, which is cool and everything like that. Like I get that that's what they were going for, but I just, just don't think that it's practical and that it's like what makes me feel most comfortable for like you know what I mean like I like to apply my concealer like this so what makes me think that all of a sudden whenever I use this concealer I'm gonna apply it in the dotting formation I'm just not you know what I mean I like applying it more on the side and having that full effect instead of dotting it all over you know it takes more time and I just don't like it but I do love do love the formula like oh I hate to get rid of it I love it, but I will be returning this. The next product actually is a little bit of a repeat. I mentioned this in one of my regrets videos, but I just had to mention it again. Like, I had to. Again, for anyone who hasn't seen that video and for anyone who will see this video and isn't a subscriber of mine, I want to just talk about this. I'm so disappointed just because I feel like L'Oreal could have done so much better. Like, the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows, the texture of that is so smooth and creamy and glides on beautifully why couldn't they have transferred that formula and quality into this because this quality is no bueno guys it is super chalky and chunky and glittery and sparkly and I'm not the type that shies away from a little bit of a sparkly highlight like I'm not the type where I need the highlight to look super natural or anything but if it's gonna be a little bit sparkly or glitter, at least to make it super fine so that it, when it applies on the cheek, it looks smooth still. This, I feel, just looks chunky. Like, it almost looks like you have chunks of glitter. Like, I don't have acne or textured skin um, at all, and it still looks bad on me and emphasizes, like, weirdness on my cheeks. So if you do, I can only imagine how it would look. Like, if you have acne or textured skin, this is just going to emphasize it and literally highlight it. It's not an angelic, beautiful, wet, beachy glow. It is a cheap, chalky, glittery glow. Like this, I've said it before, and I feel like this is just how it perfectly describes it. I feel like this highlight, the way it looks, it looks as if one of those super cheap, you know like you go to Toys R Us and you get like your five-year-old daughter like a cute little makeup kit? This looks like it would be included in that. Like a cheap little play makeup like just I I hate to like just talk so negative about it but I'm just keeping it real and it doesn't feel buttery like it feels a little tiny bit dry and it's not too too pigmented either which I don't like because L'Oreal products are super pigmented they could have done better the next product that I want to mention is a Maybelline Fit Me. This color has actually been discontinued now, but I kind of just want to talk about it regardless because I know a lot of people use these Maybelline Fit Me foundations for contouring and highlighting. Um, I tried that. This is in the shade 330 Toffee, and I love the shade. Toffee Caramel. I love the shade. Not so much, well, even now with my tan. It's a really pretty, like, cool tone toffee shade for contouring. The only problem with this is the formula when it comes to contouring, it's super slippery. Like, especially on oily skin, it's super slippery that when I did my contour, it just ended up spreading all over the place and just getting very muddy and slippery and greasy looking. And to me, I, that's just, it just didn't work out for me. You might like it actually if you have dry skin because it's not going to look like dry on you it's gonna actually give you a little bit of like a natural finish but if you have oily skin this combined with your oily skin it's gonna look like a greasy sloppy contour so the next product is a product that I hunted down because the packaging has actually been discontinued these are the Smashbox bronze light uh, perfecting bronzers this is in the shade sunkissed matte I hunted I hunted is that a word I hunt down this packaging because they came they basically replaced this with a new one the um, matte bronzers now I have the new one in the shade warm matte and I love it but this one I don't like so much just because of the shade I don't know if I got the wrong shade like I don't know if this is the one that's warm but this is in the shade sun kissed matte and I really don't like this shade I feel like it is super like light and pinky and almost orangey in a way like it just looks kind of weird and it does not work for me as a bronzer at all so I kind of regret buying it just because I thought it was gonna be super awesome but nonetheless I do really like the packaging so the next product that I want to talk about is also a yellow brightening on, um, under eye powder this is the Ben Nye luxury powder in the shade banana 
holy this is like probably one of the most overrated <laughs> hyped up products in the entire world when kim kardashian's makeup artist came out and said that she, uh he uses this on her everyone and their mama went to go buy it and i remember being like pale like right now i wear self-tanner but i remember being pale af and being like oh my god i wonder if i could pull off banana shade no girl because i can't even pull off this shade right now with my tan like i don't know what it is but when i put this on it just looks mustardy like it looks like a mustardy yellow under eye and i just really do not like it it just didn't work for me and i paid 15 dollars at eye mats for this and i have a full tube still now the next product that i want to mention is the rimmel stay matte foundation now i love this foundation it's one of my favorite drugstore foundations in terms of the formula it lasts really long it's super matte and it's super full coverage the only reason i want to mention it is just because now that i'm more tan i realize how hard it is to find yellow tone warm shades in the drugstore and deeper shades in the drugstore this is the shade true beige i think there's one shade darker than this but it wouldn't even matter because all of the shades in this shade selection in this foundation are really pink like they look literally so pink that they literally look gray on me it's horrible and it's so sad like so sad because i'm not kidding you this is probably one of my most favorite drugstore foundations i used to use this all the time when i didn't wear self tanner and i would have loved to continue using this in some upcoming drugstore tutorials but i just can't the shade is so bad like not even workable it is horrible so cool tone and pink tone for those of you cool tone girls out there you will love the shade selection but i know a lot of people struggle with finding warm um shades from the drugstore the shade section sucks and not only that like i said i think there's one shade darker than this and that's it so if you're any darker than me you can't even get this foundation which i feel like is a little i don't i mean i don't want to say it's like discrimination but it's a little like just a little bit you know what i mean like what makes you think that that i'm the deepest they come you know what i mean i don't know it just kind of bothers me i think it's because I don't know Rimmel is from the UK like I don't really know but like all of their shade selections are super light like they don't have which I think is cool that they go super pale because there's a lot of girls out there that need like really pale foundations but they don't even give you the option of going any deeper than like an N, like an NW 30 35 so it just kind of sucks um yeah just kind of wanted to mention that the shade selection in this really sucks but I do actually like the formula in this. I should have mentioned this actually when I was talking about the L'Oreal highlighter. I met, I talk, I, uh, I actually tried the liquid version as well and I was assuming that I was actually going to like this one a lot better than the powder one because a lot of people said they hated the powder one but loved the liquid. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll probably like this one. I didn't like it guys. Um, I tried it on camera actually and if you notice, I put it on and when I put it on, no matter what way I did it, it removed my foundation underneath. Even if I just tapped. I felt like it just kind of separated, like it didn't go on smoothly. I can use the Benefit Watts Up highlighter and it just applies on top of my highlight, I mean on top of my foundation super smooth. But this got kind of patchy and it almost disappeared on the skin, like it didn't give me that beautiful glow. So I don't know, again this was like a miss for me. I can probably get use out of this if I just mix it in with foundations because I do love the color of this, like the color of this is really nice, like you can see. It is a gorgeous gold, really gorgeous color. Next I have a skincare product, and I think that's it for makeup items actually. The rest are skincare, um, but this is the Fresh Rose Hydrating Face Serum. If you guys keep up with my channel, you know that I tried this out a while ago, and I absolutely love the formula of this, and I love this serum, or serum, sorry, you guys hate when I say serum. I was so shocked that this only lasted me, I think, a month max. Like It possibly even lasted me three weeks. I'm not kidding you, when I, I was like thinking I had a lot of this left, like that's how little time I even use this, I go to turn it and pump it, I was shocked, I'm like, are you kidding me, it's done. The price of this, I can't remember the exact price, but fresh products are extremely expensive, so I was so like disappointed and upset when I, I was just like, I was like floored that this wasted so fast. So to me, it's just like not worth it. The next products that I wanna mention are the Freeman masks. Now, I know you guys gonna look at this and you're gonna be like, girl, you're gonna say you don't like that? You've used hella a lot of it. I wanna talk about masks for a second here, okay? So, like I said, I've used a lot of this. I've had this and this one 
for like a good two years. Um, I used them and I never really was floored or amazed or loved them. And a lot of you guys would even ask me, hey, what's your favorite mask? I noticed you have the Freeman ones. Do you love them? And my reply would always be, yeah, I like them, but I, I'm still on the hunt for a mask that I really, really like. You know what I mean? Like, I it took me so long to find a mask that I was like, in love with, felt was worth the money, love it. Now I love the Sephora Purifying Mud Mask. I have never fallen in love with a mask before. That one is so worth it. And it just showed me like, you know what? You weren't in love with these ones for a reason. You know what I mean? Like I just wasn't in love with them and I know why. Like they just don't barely do anything. Uh, this is the avocado and oatmeal one. For the longest time I just kept using this one because I thought, well, oh, like I'll have it. I'll just keep using it. But I was never amazed by it. Um, the facial polishing charcoal one, I thought this would be super good, but it's actually really harsh on the skin. Recently, I actually also got the Coconut Glow Leave-On Bronzing Mask. I liked this one at first too, but after a while, I realized that it actually comes off on your clothing. And it, I don't know why it took me a little while to realize that, but it comes off on your clothing, on your bed sheets, and I'm talking even if you're just like... Like, if you bump into something and your clothing rubs your legs or something, your dress will have this all over it. So it's just not practical. I'd rather self-tan my legs and know that it's not going to come off at all. And also, this has a very strong red undertone to it, so it does look kind of strange. Now, the last product I want to mention is not a skincare, not a makeup item. It's kind of just like a random beauty item. So these are the shadow shields. Now, I use this for a little while, and a lot of you guys asked me, Hey, I noticed you using them in your tutorials. Do you recommend them? And I told you guys straight up. Girls, I'm using them because I need to get rid of them because I spent my money on them, but don't, like, I don't recommend them because I just feel like it is just a gimmick. Like, you could just use other things to get the same idea. You could use literally scotch tape and pay, like, $2 from the dollar store and get scotch tape and use them. Um, or you could use a price tag, like a clothing price tag, and get a straight line as well or help with follow. I just feel like these are... Like, there's no point in paying for this, you know what I mean? So, that is pretty much it for all of my regrets. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have a huge amount, but I still had enough that I felt like you guys would enjoy seeing this video since you liked my last one so much. I will leave my last one down below, by the way. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you want me to continue doing these ones every couple months and I will save up products instead of returning them, I will, I'm willing to... To waste my money just to help you guys out and do this video so like thumbs up if you want me to continue thank you guys so much for watching and i'll of course see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.